Hello and welcome to This Day Devo. My name is Pastor Guy. It is good to have you on this Wednesday morning, where today we read 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verses 1 through 25. Question for you. Have you ever been somewhere where other people or everyone is speaking a different language that you don't speak? I have been to uh, multiple different countries where I've gone into church services or or the town square or marketplaces, and everyone is speaking Spanish. And I know very little Spanish. It's just never really stuck for me. And uh, and I could sit in a church service and I could listen to uh, all the music and all the songs. And for the most part, uh, I'm not gaining anything from what's being taught or sung. Um, I suppose I speak Christianese well enough that I can decipher, well, that's amazing grace. But when the pastor reads a passage or is preaching, I don't know what's going on. It's not encouraging or to me in, in the words. I could be encouraged by looking around and seeing others who are genuinely worshiping. But as far as what's being said, I'm getting nothing out of it. It's just I just don't, right? It, it can be frustrating. Uh I, and anytime I spend time, I mean, even this summer, I spent some time uh, with some some friends of ours. You guys may remember Gus and Alini. Well, we uh, we spent some time with them, and uh, and Alini's parents do not speak English; they speak Portuguese. I don't speak Portuguese. Um, her mom and dad were wonderful, great people, great Christian people. Um, but we were very limited in our ability to talk, so we just kind of sit there and kind of smile and nod at each other and talk back and forth like cavemen trying to explain stuff with hand motions and and symbolizing, uh, you know, gesturing towards things. And that was that was frustrating, right? We can't have a good conversation. Now this is. Uh, is kind of uh, what Paul's getting at when he talks about tongues versus prophecy. There are times when you may walk into a church and you may hear things that are just, you don't, you don't hear it. You don't understand it. They're talking over your head. They're maybe they're using King James Elizabeth in old English even. And it just, it doesn't, it doesn't do anything for you. You're not getting anything out of it. And so, this is something we have to fight against in in church, in Christianity, in our own uh, our own uh, teaching of and explanation of and presenting of the gospel to our friends and our family in in church services and in throughout your life. Um, the more you know, the more you learn, the more knowledge you gain. The really the closer you get to Jesus, there is a temptation to just be puffing yourself up with knowledge and then presenting Jesus in a too academic, confusing way to the everyday man. There's a place for that. We got to do that. But to the average unbeliever who is looking for Christ, what attracts them? It's the simplicity of the gospel message. And one of the things that happens at church is just like is established in this passage is when we are are proclaiming or prophesying Jesus and an unbeliever steps into the room, this passage shows us what's going to be the most effective way to draw them into seeing and believing. It is, it is that we are passionately and clearly talking about what Jesus accomplished for us. We're not babbling. We're not um, talking in these la- an unknown language or using Christianese in a way that they don't grasp, but we're talking in normal English or whatever the common language is of the day or the place in which we live. And that shows them and helps them to understand, and so then they can come to faith. This is what we should all strive for. And this is what Paul kind of means, right? It's what he means when he says, I would rather speak five words that you understand when we're gathered than 10,000 words that mean nothing to you. That's it. And and he even says, if you would leaf ahead to Colossians 
he also wrote the book of Colossians, and we'll get there in a little while. In chapter 4, verse 4, he says, Pray for me that I will proclaim the message as clearly as I should. Paul wanted to keep it simple, silly. He wanted to praise in the common day language. And that's how Jesus spoke and how Jesus taught. That's how all of these Bible books and letters were written in the common language of the day so that the common man or woman or child would be able to read it, hear it, understand it, and come to faith. And this is how we should share the gospel and how we should worship and encourage and uplift and edify each other in the church. So let's go and do likewise. Clearly share and live the gospel in everyday terms, and to God be the glory. Have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow. Every word sent down from heaven as the power of Christ.